Time to get Storm Assassins and get a free giraffe. 7k dreamer please hi guys welcome back to my channel we are checking out Gerard's mythical dungeon we are gonna look at his skill set first which isn't really very powerful i would say for his passive he decreases magic damage taken by 40 percent and also basically that's it because the rest of the passive doesn't apply in this case for his top skill he does 500 percent three enemies to high defense and reduces death resist rate by 60 percent for six turns his bottom skill actually applies the death debuff and also deals damage equal to 20% of the max HP to 3 enemies so it's not based on his actual attack stat. He also deals fixed damage on his awakened skill and also has more chance to apply death, more death as well on his effect attack. So when we think of death, the first hero we need to think of is Galidus. Galidus provides 12 turn death immunity so you don't have to worry about anything that Gerard does to you at all. All you need to care about is having proper HP armor and gear on your heroes so that you can resist his damage. And basically that's it. So for the skill rotation, I use the bottom skill from Yuri first to increase the damage I will deal onto Gerard. I would say the run could possibly go much faster, but you know, I kind of use too many skills. <laughs> okay. Here, Gerard does nothing to me. I was thinking this could be a very powerful skill where you will see some significant damage because he deals damage based on your max HP and in this case, I'm using PvE armor so I was expecting the damage to be a lot but not really at all. I think he has one of the nicest animations. I also applied the debuff with Fenra and applied the crit and lethal damage buff increase which may not be necessary, but as you can see here, the Galidus completely just wipes him with one skill. So you may choose to skip the middle skill, which is Fenris skill, but you may also, you know, risk being blocked by Gerard, and that won't be so good, so I decided not to take the risk and go for that instead. And yep, I got the Storm Essence, and you also get Power Up Crystals, so always do the dungeon. I'm going to talk about the equipment first, then we'll look at the synthesis event, which is pretty good. For Galidus, I'm on a crit and lethal build because Yuri and Fenrir give 50% crit rate by the time you hit turn 5. You may not even need turn 5 as you saw. And also the guild bus gives you 30%, 30% crit rate and lethal rate. So that's more than 100% crit rate and lethal rate. And then max HP standard PvE jewels. You may actually want to swap out the PvE skill cooldown jewel for the increased awakening age if you do not have enough damage to kill him at the start. Okay, that's another option for you. And then I also have accessories that increase damage on offensive enemies and also my traits and fighters who are also adjusted for that. So that's a lot of damage dealt to Gerard already from one skill. Next up we have Eileen. She is on a more defensive build as usual. HP armor and defensive jewels. Nothing too much here. Just give her a willful ring. And then for Scoot also HP armor, willful ring, PV defense jewel if you have. Also nothing too much. The same actually applies to Yuri and Fenra, both are also on HP and defensive builds. I don't think you will actually die from this dungeon because he is not too devastating unlike you know other 7 out of all dungeons. So with that we're going to talk about the synthesis event. With the Storm Essence you can actually trade in for a Gerard, that is one free copy, 20 Storm Essence and if you were to look at the dungeon itself it is actually 29 days including today okay so you can actually definitely get 29 storm essence if you start doing every day from today and with that you can also trade in for two winter jewels and these winter jewels are similar to the halloween jewels that we got a while ago in fact they are similar to seven out of old jewels and just slightly less powerful okay slightly less powerful so for the winter jewels as i mentioned in my halloween jewel video i strongly strongly suggest that you pick the counter attack and counter damage jewel as well as the block and the block reduction jewel because these two are the most usable across many many heroes and also the next choice i would say would be the speed attack and speed attack damage jewel if you haven't already picked it up and then next will be the magic attack and physical attack ones because these two are the ones that i consider better than the skill use chance because skill use chance increased by seven percent is really very vague 
because we don't know exactly how much skill use chance there is and it's still subjected to RNG. Resist rate plus 7% is also not super super great because with Gerard now and uh, heroes like Freya, you know, all these increased status cast rate and reduce your status effect rate a lot. So I don't think this jewel is going to make a very big difference. So definitely go for the block rate and counter rate if you still do not have them. Okay, and with that, I've come to the end of this video. Hopefully, it helped you in the dungeon run and the synthesis event choices. Do like and subscribe to my channel. Stay tuned for more videos. Thank you so much, and see you.